Are they tricking us? Mm. What if they were making fools of us? And are Fury Nganu and Mike Tyson bluffing each other? Today we are diving deep into the world of boxing intrigue where nothing is what it seems. All right, let's break it down. It all started back in July 2023 when the Fury vs Nganu fight was officially announced as the battle for the baddest. The fight is scheduled for October 28th, keep it in mind, that's important. The reactions were all over the place. Someone said, yes. yeah, someone even said Nganu is a monster and he'll yes. win. But the majority yes. said, boo, Fury is going to win easily. He is not fighting real boxing champions anymore. And we said, yes, Fury's skills are immensely superior, but in the heavyweight world, everything can happen. Just one punch and he's over. Fury's going to win. Still, he has to be careful. Fury said, we never underestimate anybody, especially the fucking media. They're like, oh, Francis doesn't have a chance. How am I not going to prepare 100% for an absolute killing machine over there? And then a twist. Nganu dropped a bombshell by announcing Mike Tyson as his cornerman, and John Fury cried foul, calling Tyson a traitor. Tyson Fury commented, so... This is strictly business. This is business and he understands. Usyk in the meantime called Fury a clown. Instead of choosing the top 10 guy, the guy is choosing someone who never boxed before. And another twist, Mike Tyson told people to not underestimate Nganu as he said, He's a real power puncher, real fast for a big guy, 260. And I used to think um, he's going to do better than most people believe. As they showed in an open training where, well, did he get worse? Really, did they show this and why were they showing their game plan? John Fury said, this is going to be the quicker Fury's knockout of his career. That's embarrassing. If that's what he can do on a public workout, don't bother doing a public workout. It's a disgrace. And then another twist. The great fight was announced. Fury versus Usyk finally is going to happen. And it is scheduled for December 23rd. Wait a minute. Is Fury going to finish his fighting camp to fight a huge bull like Nganu on end of October? and then go straight for another fighting camp to face a smaller, quick, southpaw, skilled fighter like Usyk. Furthermore, Nganu, who already seemed hangry to prove himself, felt disrespected after Usyk's fight date announcement. Is Fury willing to gamble on inadequate preparation for one of the most formidable fights of his career? Everything seems nonsense here, but... And what if... Nganu and Mike Tyson staged a fake showreel with sloppy punches and false gameplay just to make feel Fury overconfident. The biggest pitfall Fury can encounter in this fight is being too relaxed and we are sure Nganu want this advantage. And what about the fury Usyk fighting date? Let's pretend that Fury and Usyk would have secretly agreed on their fight even before but announcing a false date. It may sound crazy but stay with me. It's about to make sense. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Okay, first of all, the show's management didn't want both fights to be announced simultaneously as they didn't want people choosing one over the other. Furthermore, Fury is a master at setting up the scene and inflaming the public before every fight. End you! End you! End you! But this time, things were getting wrong for them, as Fury was losing the consensus of the fans more and more day after day. A certain individual went so far as to suggest that Fury might be harboring a fear of taking on other champions. To make matters worse, a substantial number of fans openly declared their intentions to boycott the Fury Nganu match. However, with the Usyk Fury announcement, the public's perception of Fury's fighting spirit is changing. Now, even Fury Nganu fights get more interesting because of the implications it might have on Fury Usyk. People are now wondering if could Nganu sabotage Fury's plans. So, the Fury Usyk announcement killed two birds with one stone. And let's not forget that after the Fury Nganu fight, the Fury Usyk date can always be postponed with an excuse and due advance notice. Sure, all this story may seem convoluted, but now all the pieces of the chessboard are in place. What do you think about that and what will be the next move? Be alert, keep your poker face and stay tuned.